going to start off by priming our face with the Skin Demetri James Orchid Gel. It's a mattifying day treatment. And just rub that into the skin. It feels really soft and kind of like the Benefit um, Professional. I find that this primer ultimately keeps me matte the entire day and other primers don't do that. So I don't know if it's part of it being a treatment. So then we are going to move on to the Fiona Styles Matte Finish. This is a sweat proof kind of uh, festival look. These two as a combination really do awesome on my skin if you are oily. I use the orchid gel and then this foundation. Now with this foundation, you do not want to use a beauty blender. I don't know why, it just doesn't sit right on the skin. So I'm going in with this Tarte Foundation Kabuki brush. <laughs> Next, we are going to use some concealer, and this is the best concealer I know. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This has never creased on me. It doesn't look super cakey. And I just kind of put it in an upside down triangle. And I'm going in with a damp beauty blender to blend that in. I used to not like using the beauty blender for, for blending in my concealer. Uh, see how easy that is? Then I'm gonna set my under eye with the RCMA No Color Powder. And the best way to use this for myself, you gotta be careful. You put it in the cap, and that seems to work a little bit better. So I just take it on a Morphe M438. <laughs> Now that that's locked into place, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and just use that as a natural kind of contour line on my face because you don't want it to smudge um, throughout the day or night or whenever your festival is. So I take this medium shade called Light Sculpt and just put that on a flat brush and I just make a little line. See that little line right there? I just make it like that and then the same on the other side. And you want to go from the top of your ear to the side of your lips. That's kind of the angle you're looking for. I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. I'm just going to add a little more because I want a little bit more definition on my face. Just right under your cheekbones like that and then just go and blend it out again. So do you see how I have that natural kind of contour line there now? So now you won't have to worry about having your contour move throughout the night. And then I'm gonna go in and set the rest of my face with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Finishing Powder. I like it pretty much just as much as the RCMA No Color Powder. And setting that contour just allows it to stay a little bit more. And it will stay throughout the night because it is a cream. The nice thing about this powder is you can pack it on and never have cake face. Now that our face is set for the most part, I am going to go in with this Park Ave Princess uh, palette from Tarte and use this contour bronzer shade. It's called, I don't know. I don't know what this is called, but this is the Park Ave Avenue Princess Con uh, palette one, the first one. And I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush this is the Morphe M527. Just bronzing up the skin a little bit more. And the bronzer is just gonna add more depth and dimension to your face because when we added that foundation, foundation tends to flatten your face out a little bit. I feel like we're pretty bronzed. Next, we're gonna take this Jaclyn Hill Becca face champagne face palette. I did a review on this a couple weeks ago. I have been loving this palette. It does have quite a bit of fallout. I am going to take the Morphe E4 brush and use this blush right here called Rose Spritz and it's a luminous blush that they came out with. So I just kind of work it into the skin. These are extremely pigmented so be careful. I just like to make sure that's blended out just a little bit above the bronzer and contour that we put down. Do the same on the other side. Uh, this blush almost has reflex of gold in it and it's so pretty. Now that the blush is done I'm going to take a mix of champagne pop and 
Prosecco pop together. This is a Sigma tapered highlighter brush and place that at the tops of the cheekbones. As you can see, it is so pigmented and just carry that up the cheekbone, blending it out. And you can even bring it down to the apples of the cheeks a little bit. So when you smile, you see it catches the light. I'm gonna put this on the Cupid's bow as well and a little bit at the top of the nose. I love this highlight, it's so pretty. Now that we have the face done, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so we can work on the eyes. We are going to take this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and put that all over our eyes and blend that in with our fingers. Next, we're just gonna set that with some white powder and I'm just using, you can use any one that you have available but I'm just gonna use this white shade right here from the chocolate bar palette And while that sits, we are gonna quickly do eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow just because this is really gonna lock our eyebrows in place and it's tinted so I don't even really need to fill them in. We are going to go in with this chocolate bar palette with this color, you can't even see that, with this color right here just to allow for some transition. I'm using AE40 from Sigma. You can use any fluffy blending brush. Now that we have a transition color placed down, I'm gonna take the Morphe 35O palette, and that's it. And I am going to start with this color right here. It's an orange. So what we're gonna be doing today is actually starting with a purple on the lid, fading to a pink, fading to an orange, because what's more festival like than a sunset on your eyes? We're gonna take this one and start it just blending kind of everywhere. We want this to be the highest color on the sunset. So you can kind of put that on top of the transition color that we placed down. Set my heart you know, now that I think about it, it's kind of the opposite of a sunset. Oh, sunrise. We're doing a sunrise on our eyes. Boom, fixed it. Don't worry about being kind of sloppy with this because we do want this at the top of our eye. See how when my eyes are closed, you can still see the orange at the top. Next, I'm gonna go in with a ColourPop eyeshadow. This is in Drift and it's a pretty, sparkly pink as you can see. When I use a brush with ColourPop products, just more of the color comes off than the shimmer. So hopefully that's the case this time. I am going to put that a little bit lower. I changed to a Zoeva 224, just a little bit more defined and I'm just going to put my brush in that. Pop that lower than we did the orange. Kind of right in your eye socket. Skin. Try really hard not to go, not to mix these two colors. Try really hard to keep the pink just in the socket of your eye and don't go above the orange. While you and me I'm gonna go back in with, you can't, uh, I'm gonna go back in with this orange shade just to intensify the top a little bit more so we don't lose that shade. Heart of fire. Now we are going to go into the ColourPop Super Shock, I can't ever say that, the Super Shock Shadow in Cricut. It's this pretty, and I can't open it. It is this pretty sparkly purple shade. And for this, I am going to use my finger so we can get the crazy shimmer out of this eyeshadow. Try and keep that just on your lid if you can. Now that we are done with the lid shade, we're gonna go back in with the pink. This look is just a lot of going back in and making sure things are blended and we don't lose the pigmentation. Just go back in one more time with the ColourPop shadow in Cricut and make sure that we didn't lose any pigmentation or any sparkles 
on the lid. Straight to the start of so it should look something like this now. So we have a gradient of orange and then pink and then purple. Next, I am going to go in with some liquid liner. With This is the Kat Von D Trooper Liner and just make yourself a wing. I'm gonna try to do this on camera, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. Okay, I can't do this on camera, hold on. So I just did a quick winged liner with the Kat Von D Trooper liner and you can totally leave it at this if you want but because this is a festival look you kind of go over the top i'm going to cut in here and make a little cat eye the liner is going to start down and then come over my eye and go up i am just going to continue that oh it tickles so much follow the curve of our eye down Okay, granted, this eye looks better than this eye, but we're gonna keep going. We're going to bring it up to the lower lash line. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. So that is what the eye should look like right now. I just followed the natural curve of my eye and brought it back up to the lower lash line. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs highliner. It's the magenta one. So now the eyeliner is connected. I'm gonna run some mascara on my lashes. This look definitely requires falsies, um, so I'm gonna go grab those really quick. I'm gonna go in with the Eye Lore, they're just the lengthening pack, and put some House of Lashes glue on it. This is the clear one. And then we just wait for them to get tacky. So I'm just gonna place this on. So this is the look with the lashes on. Again, we are going to take this ColourPop Cricut eyeshadow, the purple one we used and throw that under the lash line. And then we are going to throw some mascara on the lower lash line. Finding life along the way, melodies we haven't... And lastly, we are going to place a little bit of Cricut on the inner corners just so that we don't make this line too harsh. To create a song, I don't want to miss a beat. You know what? And I'm also going to place a couple dots right underneath here. I just placed a couple dots underneath the winged liner. And lastly, we are just going to top it off with a liquid lipstick. This is Karina from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So that is the completed look. The last step is to spray it with some uh, setting spray and I'm gonna use the wet and wild one. So this is the completed look and I know you're thinking that is crazy, but festival music is supposed to be fun, expressive. I think it's the perfect excuse to do something a little bit different with your makeup. And I just wanted to try something a little bit fun and colorful here on my channel because I tend to do a lot of neutral looks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you don't miss out on my future ones and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.